Welcome to KTH, the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden. I am Seif Haridi, Professor of Computer Systems at KTH, and I'll be the instructor of this course on reliable distributed algorithms. As you might know, most of today's IT infrastructures are distributed systems, from telecom systems and the internet to the data centers of cloud computing that fuel the current revolution of global IT services. Examples of these services include Google, Facebook, and Netflix, among others. At the core of many global services, you find distributed algorithms. The services are implemented by algorithms that run on multiple computers and communicate only by sending and receiving messages. It is crucial for many of these services that they continue to work 24-7, even if some of the computers fail or some messages are lost in transit. This course series will give you a solid foundation of reliable distributed systems. I will be joined by Paris Carboni and Lars Kroll, who will lead you through the problem-solving sections and the programming assignments. You'll get to experiment and develop a variety of distributed algorithms in a very engaging, interactive programming environment using the Scala programming language. We will guide you throughout the programming assignments and provide you with intuitive examples to get you started. In this course, you will learn a lot. You will learn how to specify a distributed service and how to implement it correctly by distributed algorithms. You will get familiar with many core services that are used in cloud computing and big data environments. It will become clear that implementing a service will depend on the underlying distributed system model. In some models, it might be easy to implement the service, while in others, it can even be impossible. You will understand why this is the case. You are going to grasp most of these major concepts and results of distributed computing in a precise way. Concepts such as consistency models, broadcast abstractions, consensus, and the cap theorem. Finally, you will learn and understand many advanced distributed algorithms. A great example is the famous Paxos algorithm for agreement protocols. If you are interested in designing and implementing a distributed system, you will find that writing a distributed program is quite different from writing a sequential program. Distributed programs are not just functions from input to output. Rather, they are concurrent, reactive programs that run continuously and interact with their environment. Therefore, you will need a paradigm shift. Even professional software engineers will need to change their mindset. So in this course, you will learn how to program distributed algorithms in a compositional, event-driven programming paradigm. This course is based on a course given at KTH at the master level for a long time with many refinements over the years. At the end, I want to warn you that this course is focused on understanding and reasoning rather than just acquiring a new skill set or getting a high level overview of some topics in distributed computing. So if you are brave enough to just jump in, the rewards will be great.